Finally, they say the Federal High Court don't finally set a date to hear Mazin and Carlos case, which is on 8th of February. According to Barista uh, Aloy Ejimako, no be smart, you know, my people. <laughs> These people, they don't beat, enter bush, beat, enter, enter inside water, come come back, come bring date for Mazin and the Kalu. Hmm, don't be smarting. My people, do you know the latest trend now? Nah. <laughs> they say that the governor Saludo don't put one kind laws. <laughs> Fanambarana, Anambarana is America, oh. no go there, oh. He don't come put laws and that law will impose. People don't come outside, come to say that law. <laughs> that law will impose for Anambara, go put fire for Anambara. <laughs> don't be smarting, you go watch the video. Hello, my wonderful people, welcome back to Balabas G. If this is not the first time where they come across this wonderful channel, you are highly welcome. We see they here, they bring you updates back to back. I see they hurt. My people, share this video. You get why. <laughs> they say that the governor of Anambra State will be charged soludo. <laughs> he said the law where he come put for Anambra now. <laughs> no be small law. If you see the law, we it all say band or kada for some villages for inside Anambra until the when sit at home stop. <laughs> Oh, my people can be so funny. Wait till make Solu don't them know if you come outside publicly or secretly. Work hard from Nandika already so that some things we will they ask questions, we will get answer to it. But however, let's watch this video when they make these laws and we'll come back and continue. I go out here, and if we see go near we not near we south or bar or room by north and south local government until further notice. We will review this and say whether we then extend it to the rest of the states. But let's start with this, um, if you like, um, uh, the various the red local governments. Until further notice, also motorcycles, KK and shuttle buses are banned from operating in these local governments on Mondays until the sit at home completely stops all through monday none of this should operate because that's what they used to go and force their sit at home the use of every community in the zone are hereby enjoined to assist the security agencies in the implementation of this policy and they are mandated to seize any such motorcycle or tricycle on the spot local vigilantes should report such motorcycles or tricycles kk immediately and they will be confiscated by government and the owner prosecuted as a possible suspect. The Okada, KK and Shuttle Bus Union leaders must take responsibility to report their members who are involved in criminal activities. We shall review this after two weeks, and if members of this union continue to be of these unions continue to be involved in criminal activities, the government will have no choice but to either disband the unions and or ban them outrightly in the state. Um, the unions should take responsibility. If the current trend continues, we will have no qualms banning Okada and Keke outrightly in this state. Four, no part of Anambra state, house, bush, or forest shall be used as camps for these criminals. Anyone with a gun in a camp is considered a criminal in Anambra state and the government and people will work with security agencies to flush them out. The state government shall pursue to its powers under the Land Use Act, revoke and acquire any land found to be harboring these criminals for public purpose. Henceforth, every community is required to provide information on any part of their land occupied by these corrupt criminals as camps. If the community fails to do so, the government will take over such land as government property. All communities are hereby charged to take over their communities completely and through the leadership of their town unions and traditional rulers give weekly security reports submitted every Friday to the state government on the state of security in their respective communities. The cooperation of the youths in that regard is now imperative. I charge the vigilantes of each community to rise to the occasion and contend with these criminals in your locality, whether they are in your bush or in the houses or in your community. In your community. The state government expects the report of any progress made in this regard 
and shall support and reward you accordingly. Any building found to be harboring these kidnappers and murderers who have laid siege on our state will, as provided by the Criminal Code Amendment Number 3, Law 2, uh, 2, 2013, be forfeited to the state government. To that event, extent, all landlords are hereby directed to proceed on operation Know Your Tenant by keeping appropriate records of their tenants and report anyone suspected of being involved in criminal activities. Each community leadership must keep full register of all tenants in their communities, their occupation, etc., and keep an eye on the activities. The state government shall, as an emergency measure, disband the leadership of any community which fails to report criminal activities in their communities or immediately respond to the request contained in this address. All market leaders and stakeholders are hereby charged to join the communities in taking back their territory and monitor the activities in their markets. They are all required to return weekly security reports to the state government. Everybody who either in person or through telephone calls demands cash support or ransom from anyone in furtherance of any criminal activities or groups should immediately be reported to the government via the telephone lines that we have provided. Nine, all transporters, bus drivers, shuttle drivers, tricycle, keke, and motorcycle or cadre riders must immediately report any suspicious passengers. Because it has come to the knowledge of the state government that over 80% of transport operators use fake plate numbers and identities, all transport operators in Anambra must henceforth re-register their vehicles, tricycles, and motorcycles with their valid means of identification and their biometrics to be captured. This exercise shall be, uh, immediately be commenced, and anyone who defaults in doing that after four weeks from today will be treated as a suspect and adequate measures taken against him or her. Ten, all hotels are directed to obtain the means of identification of their guests and keep an inventory of all guests in their hotels who we'll have some sporadic spot checks. The management of the hotel should immediately report any suspicious person or persons or group of persons checking into or converging in their hotels. Immediate sanctions would attend to any dereliction in this regard, including possibly shutting down or demolition of such hotels. All fuel stations are hereby directed to, within four weeks from today, place surveillance cameras in their stations and to keep records generated by those cameras in order to assist the state government when required in tackling these criminals who inevitably fuel their vehicles at these fuel stations. Finally, let me urge our people to remain calm. This, is, this season shall pass. The God of Anambra assures that we shall overcome the forces of darkness. Indeed, this tough beginning foretells of a more glorious future. We thank all the stakeholders in the Anambra project, and particularly we thank the security agencies who are here for their, um, for their determination and sacrifice. These security agencies uh, sacrifice quite a lot um, to keep us where we are. Uh, even with very lean resources, uh, taking great risks, and um, uh, I can't say that anymore, and I can only say <coughs> thank you very much, and thank you on behalf of Anambra um, uh, for keeping us where we are. And they are also determined, uh, working with them, that um, these criminals will be brought to book. And uh, we enjoin our religious leaders to continue to lift up the state in prayers and to also mobilize our people as they fight evil in our land. Together, we shall take back our state and make it the true light of the nation. God bless you all. God bless Anambra State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I may take um, one or two uh, questions, if any. Um, <coughs> The, the number that is okay, so that's good. This is uh, uh, even uh, joy. 
No question today. Thank you very much. Huh? It's a special broadcast. Um, yes, my wonderful people, welcome back. As you don't watch that video, and here within this, uh, the governor from Anambara, they talk for inside this uh, video. <laughs> my people, don't be smart, you know, so you don't hear up uh, because uh, I seen they talk I'm not, and so they, they take the pool fire for inside something where they born. There's so many other ways where if you take hold this but if you say that this one you know best my people I beg may you let me know your own opinion for this thing where Governor Sonudo don't talk pool for this higher you want to take stop or cutter for some villages. Tomorrow now the villages go consume as a as a as a headland where government head them. Before you know what thing happen problem go to enter the solution to all these things is release Mazin and the Kalo. Then, if release Mazin and the Kalo, we will start the talk. But, however, as that one they happen, <laughs> uh, they say that the uh, Federal High Court don't finally set a date apart, which is on 8 February, to hear Mazin and the Kalo case. The people will, will give them freedom. Now the people will want to go judge the case again. I oh God, Nigeria can be funny. My people, share this video and let me know for inside comment section what will be your own opinion.